Now that you know how to make commands to all the ustedes and ustedeses in your life, let's figure out how to tell all the tus and vosotroses. Next in our list is the informal commands, which are essentially just commands you'd make to people you'd address as tu or vosotros. We'll show you positive commands and then negative, since they have completely different constructions. And there's two sides to every coin. Of course. Right. For informal commands, changing verbs into their positive command form is a breeze. For two commands, all you have to do is use the third person singular form of the verb. So to tell someone to sing, you'd say canta, the third person singular form of the verb cantar. Vosotros commands are a little different. You start with the infinitive form of the verb, then change the last R into a D. So, cantar would become cantar. That's what you'd say if you wanted a whole bunch of people to sing. So to recap, for positive two commands, use the third person form of the verb, and for positive vosotros commands, change the final R of the infinitive into a D. Bebe, recoge la silla, por favor. That means, hey baby, pick up the chair please. Recoger is the verb that means to pick up. So to make a tu command out of it, all you have to do is use the third person form, recoge. Volad, volad, bonitos míos. If you were telling a bunch of birds to fly, you'd want to use the plural informal command form of the verb, volar, to fly. Just zap that final R into a D. Volad vosotros. Negative tu and vosotros commands are formed differently than positive ones. You can't just add the word no in front of them. They have their own special construction. They're sort of formed the same way as the usted ustedes commands we learned earlier. Here's how you make negative tu and vosotros commands. We'll start with the AR verbs. So let's use dibujar, which means to draw. First we take the yo form, dibujo. Then we knock off the O, and lastly we add an ES for the singular form, dibujes. Then an accented EIS for the plural form, dibujais. So to tell someone not to draw, you'd say, no dibujes tú. And to tell a bunch of people not to draw, you'd say, No dibujéis vosotros. Easy enough. Let's try making a command out of the word quemar, to burn. To tell someone not to burn the bacon, you'd say, No quemes el tocino. See what we did? We conjugated quemar into its yo form, quemo. Then we knocked off the O and added ES, no quemes. So we could say the positive form, Quema el tocino, or the negative form, no quemes el tocino, depending on how you like your bacon cooked. Oh, yeah, and if a couple people were about to burn the bacon, you'd say, no quemes el tocino. No quemes is made the same way. It just has a different ending. Now let's look at the negative informal command forms of ER and IR verbs. We'll use mover, a stem change verb that means to move, and discutir, to discuss. Again, we take the yo forms of the verbs, muevo and discuto, we knock off the o's, and we add an as to the tu form, and an accented ais to the vosotros form. Don't move the cat. No muevas el gato. Don't discuss politics with your father-in-law. No discutas de política con tu suegro. Take a look at the verb freir, which means to fry. Now say you want eggs with your bacon, but you don't want your egg fried. You take the yo form of freir, which is frío. Yep, it's irregular, but that doesn't matter. We just knock off the o and add as. No frías. No frías el huevo. Don't fry the egg. If you were asking more than one person not to fry the egg, you'd say no friáis. Of course. So that's the deal for normal positive and negative informal commands. Now do you know what it's time for? That's right, our irregulars. There are quite a few irregular two commands out there, but we're going to zoom in on five familiar faces. First, let's take a closer look at three of those bad boys. Hacer, decir, and tener. These three verbs have completely normal negative two command forms. No hagas, no digas, no tengas. And completely normal vosotros command forms, both positive and negative. Hacer, decir, tener, no hagáis, no digáis, no tengáis. 
The only informal command forms these verbs have issues with are their positive two command forms. As, di, ten. Simple, short, and sweet. So to say, make the bed, you'd say, as la cama. Tell me, dime, have an apple, ten una manzana. Fun, huh? Now let's look at ser and ir, which are messed up through and through. We'll start with ser. The positive command forms are se and sed, and the negative forms are no seas and no seais. So to say be good to a little child, you'd say, se bueno. And to tell all the neighborhood children not to be good, you'd say, no seais buenos. Although telling the neighborhood kids not to be good may not be a phrase you'll want to use too often. <laughs> Eid is strange too. The positive forms are ve and id, and the negatives are no vayas and no vayais. So to tell your friend not to go, you'd say, no vayas. And to tell a bunch of friends to go, you'd say, id. Just like that part of your psyche. So keep your eyes open for those irregular informal commands. Love those tú and vosotros commands. Hi, hi, dinosaurs. Don't be afraid, Ferdinando. Have courage. Yes, I'm going to be brave like my love. You, Sophia. Fueron, fueron dinosaurs. No tengas miedo, Ferdinando. Ten valor. Sí. Voy a tener valor. Como mi amor. Tú, Sofía. In Spanish, informal commands are used to address people you refer to as tú or vosotros. To make a tú command, you use the present tense third person form of the verb. For vosotros, just change the final R of the infinitive to a D. For negative to and vosotros commands, you have to do more than just add no. You do start with no, but then you add the form of the formal command singular, and add S for the to form, or IS plus an accent on the last vowel for the vosotros form. Oh, and be on the lookout for all kinds of irregular verbs, especially the boot verbs, like hacer, decir, tener, ser, and ir. 